Today we have with us Len Williams from the uh, city of Austin. Len is chair of the technology and uh, telecommunications at the city. Welcome. Thank you. Tell us more about what you do at the city and why you're at South by Southwest. <laughs> So I, I've been a longtime resident here in Austin and South by has always been one of those areas that at first I was one of the locals. I was like, I'm not going to go to it, I'm not going to deal with it. And then just a couple of years ago, I was just like, you know what, I'm going to check it out. I'm going to check out what the buzz is about, see what the hype is, especially when Twitter came to town. Yes. Uh, when Twitter came and launched, I'm using Twitter. Uh, my phone crashed because of it. But overall, uh, my role here at the, at the city of Austin, I'm actually the chair for the Technology and Telecommunications Commission. We oversee digital technologies, uh, issues ranging from nonprofit education, uh, also uh, when you start looking at fiber, uh, mm -hmm. we have Google Fiber coming into town. Uh, we also start looking at policies dealing with organizations investing into the digital divide, education, workforce development. So we actually oversee policy for that. That's phenomenal. That's a very broad spectrum of things <laughs> you have to kind of look at. Yes, ma'am. So when you come here to South By mm -hmm. and you see all the innovation and the creativeness and the entrepreneurs, are you kind of looking for what can help you kind of deal with all those issues? So actually, Laura, you just hit the nail right on the head. Uh, innovation, creativity, workforce development, th that's exactly what I'm looking for. Uh, I'm, I'm looking for different programs. I'm looking for individuals that are help uh, our citizens understand why it's important to be engaged, not only with city entities and city politics, but just be engaged with the city itself. Mm -hmm. uh, South by originally just, it, it was homegrown and it's still homegrown, but now it, it's grown into thousands of individuals coming. You, you start seeing logos like this all over the place. Mm -hmm. And we, we want these individuals to be engaged. Our nonprofit organization, so there's actually a program within the city of Austin, it's called GTOPS grant for technology and opportunities. We actually oversee over $200,000 that go to these programs every single year through an application process, through a review committee, and it helps them uh, provide technology programs to their groups. This is huge, this is absolutely phenomenal. I, I've been on the commission for seven years. Yeah. This is my third year as, as chair, and I've seen this program grow from $100,000 all the way to $200,000. And it's because of South by Southwest. It's because of individuals like yourself, myself, and other engaged uh, citizens out there that are making this beneficial when it comes to technology. It's well-being for everyone. Absolutely. Right? Absolutely. So we, we make sure we don't have a digital divide in Austin, Texas. Yes, yes. You know, it's so pleasing to hear the kind of work you're doing on the commission because it's so important that everyone has access everyone no matter who they are. So tell me as, about some of the things you may have seen so far or felt or heard amongst the entrepreneurs at South by Southwest. So there, there was actually a couple of programs dealing with online privacy and security. Yeah. As we've seen today, there's been uh, a, a lot of cyber warfare going on that's out there and, and I think it's critical. It's important for individuals like you and I who are business owners, consumers, also working with city entities, but especially for the entrepreneurs that are out there. When you have businesses engaging with these entrepreneurs, yes, the big questions are going to be about funding, management structure, longevity, all those other key critical elements. But last but not least, when you start looking at the security aspect, that's where the entrepreneurs, they need to focus their time on that. Usually mm -hmm. the security aspect comes at the very end. When you buy a home or buy a car, you, you want to get an alarm or an insurance policy. The exact same thing happens, but at the critical state itself, people need to understand that technology, it does help. It, it does allow us to do the everyday things that we need to do. Lem, you have a, biz, uh, you have a life outside of being chair of the <laughs> Cities Commission. Share that with us. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. So I'm actually the North American channel manager for a digital security company called Jamalto. Uh, it's a French-based company, but we have North American operations here in Austin. That's great. So, uh, again, you bring another flavor to South by, yes. the international flavor. Yes. Um, we have s delegations from 74 countries here sharing ideas, yes. being entrepreneurial. Yeah. Um, 
do you find that good for your business life? That's a, it's absolutely great. It's great. Um, I've, I can't say I started to learn French or pick up French, mm -hmm. but just seeing individuals just everywhere. I mean, e even in our organization today, I mean, you're, we're, we're represented over 90 plus nationalities. Wow. I, I, I'm kind of speechless even on that. But being here at South by, you meet one person who is from Austin, then you'll meet somebody who's from Germany, then you'll meet somebody from South America. I mean, it's just, it's amazing. It, it's, it's just absolutely phenomenal to know that Austin itself has just grown from its kind of own bubble to an international flair. I mean, now, now I'm, I'm a big believer and supporter of South by. Right. <laughs> so I, I can appreciate what, what Hugh and individuals like yourself have done to really bring and, and harness that international feel, entrepreneurial spirit into Austin. Well, thank you. But you and the work you do at the city of Austin has been pivotal in supporting the entrepreneurial ecosystem yes. here. Um, uh, the city of Austin was a founder sponsor of the Austin Technology Incubator yes. Yes. 25 years ago that now has produced hundreds of companies and raised over $2 billion in capital, created over 9,000 jobs. It's been a supporter of so many entrepreneurial endeavors that have made this uh, community what it is. So as chair of the Commission on Technology and yeah. Telecommunications, when you go back to your committee in the next week, the next month, yes. what will you share with them from South By? So actually, Laura, if I can make one plug, uh, we're actually going to have a we're going to have our monthly meeting. Uh, it's going to be Wednesday, March 12th, the second Wednesday of every month. Right. Uh, individuals who will be watching this via live stream or on their spare time, they can log into uh, austintexas.gov backslash CTTC. And the, the nice thing about this, since uh, a group of us are actually here, we're going to talk about this. Uh, th this is going to be a, a part of the conversation so that people can understand that us as the telecommunications commission, we're just not all about the mouse, the keyboards, the laptops. We're much more than that. We, we've actually gone beyond the, the standard term of IT or technology. So South by is going to be a pivotal conversation. We're going to talk about all of the, the panelists that we met. We're going to speak about some of the events uh, that we've attended, but it's primarily going to be focused upon our community our nonprofit organizations, workforce development, education, which is key and critical to drawing that international flair and the growth that we have here in Austin. That is phenomenal. We are so pleased you choose to do good in our community so that our community can do well. Thank you. Lem, thanks for being Laura, here today. Laura, appreciate the time. Thank you. Thank you.